Dating coach Matt Adams back again with another question from a woman. In today's video, we will be talking about dating rules, specifically who pays. So the question comes in from a woman and the question is, as a woman, is it unreasonable for me to expect him to pay for my dinner on the first date? So, quick answer, no, it's not unreasonable. The thing that really ticks guys off about the whole paying for the first date thing, or paying for dinner, is when a woman feels entitled to it. And there have been cases where women have... I think there was actually a group of women in New York City, and you can Google this and find out. If I have the time to Google, I'll post the link in uh, the comment or the more info box below. There was a, a group of women in New York City, and they were using online dating to lessen their living expenses and get free meals. Okay? However, I think those kind of women are actually a, a rarity, a small population. They're definitely the gold digger types out there. And unfortunately, they kind of ruin it for men. Men generally don't have enough dating experience to tell the difference between a, a woman who's genuine and a woman who's just kind of after his wallet. So back to it being unreasonable. No, it's not unreasonable. Here's why. In this process of dating, as a woman, you are supposed to be accepting of his small gifts to you. He is, his role is to try and make you happy by doing things for you like getting the door, getting the chair, taking your coat, holding, uh, did I say, the, I meant the car door, but you know, holding the, getting the car door for you, holding the restaurant door, and all those little small things that guys can do. This is his opportunity to do those things to make you happy. To show you that he cares about you, that he can take care of you in these small ways. And it is your role to be accepting of these gifts. So, it's courteous to, you know, when the check comes, to offer to pay for your half. Now this shows a man that you're not expecting him to pay the entire check, that you're not expecting him to pick up the bill. And oftentimes that, that alone is enough to show him that you're not just after his wallet, that you are actually enjoying and that you can handle yourself. For some guys it's, it's they want to know if a woman has the means to pay for herself, not all of them. And by showing him that you're offering to pay, you show him that you don't expect things from him, that you are not expecting those things. So that helps. Now, if a guy takes you up on it, there could be a, a number of reasons. One, he generally is low on money and he probably didn't bring up the we should go Dutch because I'm a little tight on money right now conversation. That's awkward at the beginning of courting. Probably doesn't want to bring that up. However, waiting till the check isn't always the best solution either. He could also be testing you to see what you would do. To see if you really will pay. And if you do have to pay for yourself at some point in the relationship, how is that going to affect your relationship with him? Now, granted, this isn't the best time for him to figure that out. You know, he could be waiting until the third or fourth date even to figure that out. But some guys are a little bit more assertive. Well, they're a little bit more afraid of the gold digger. <laughs> coming after their wallet. <laughs> it's it's just ridiculous. I'm just laughing at how ridiculous it is. 
what these guys think sometimes. So, is it unreasonable? No. You should be accepting his gifts and just kind of soaking the attention in. You know? Enjoying what he's doing for you and how he's trying to make you feel. Oh, the third thing was, is he just after sex? And again, this comes up. If a guy is willing to pay for dinner entirely on his own, what you should be still cautious about is if he expects sex in return. Some guys actually, they don't think that they can buy, there are some guys that do think that they can buy a dinner and then expect sex as a reward. However, they don't understand how dating works. Plainly. This is what happens when you live near an airport. Or highways. So back to men and paying for dinner. Some guys think that they can buy their way into a woman's pants and they will expect sex. Now I'm not saying you need to give sex back to him. That's not the way it works. You shouldn't do that. But you need to be able to discern these guys from guys who are not. So guys who and sometimes they don't even think that they're expecting sex in return, but they actually are. I remember talking to one guy about this very issue and he was saying that you know, oh, I, I buy dinners, I do all this. What is my you know, what is my return? What do I get in return? You know, and he was expecting sex. He's not he wasn't expecting a woman's affections. He was expecting her acceptance. That's how men experience acceptance, through sex. When a woman accepts him into her body, then she is accepting him. So he was seeking the wrong thing from these dinners and the dates that he was going on. He was expecting acceptance and instead of affection. So I think that's the best way I can put it. So figure out if he's expecting affection or if he's expecting acceptance. And that'll just about do it for this video. Leave your questions, comments, and any other valid thoughts in the comment box below. I will handle any questions in future videos. And subscribe to the channel for more great videos. This is Matt Adams. I'll see you next time.